Russian military corruption probe could lead to jailing of defence and finance ministers. The case against Russia's Deputy Defence Minister Timur Ivanov may involve other Russian officials. Corruption remains a major issue within the Russian military, according to the British Ministry of Defence. British intelligence indicates that the corruption investigation has implicated Sergei Shoigu's first deputy, Ruslan Salikov, whom the FSB interrogated. Salikov is described as Ivanov's patron and effectively ranks third in the Russian Ministry of Defense after Minister Sergei Shoigu and Chief of General Staff Valery Gerasimov. Salikov has long-standing connections with Shoigu, having worked under him at the Ministry of Emergency Situations of Russia before following him to the Moscow Region Governor's Office and then to the Ministry of Defense in 2012. There are also suggestions that Ivanov's case may touch on Russia's finance minister, Anton Siluanov. Intelligence indicates that construction agencies of the Ministry of Defense built a house for Siluanov. British intelligence notes that corruption in the Russian Ministry of Defense is one of the primary issues. In 2019, Russia's chief military prosecutor, Valery Petrov, stated that corruption is the root cause of most problems in the rule of law. Corruption has been a factor in Russia's poor efficiency, especially at the beginning of the Ukrainian conflict involving expired rations, poor quality tires and reports of fuel embezzlement. On April the 23rd, Russia arrested Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov on suspicion of bribery, placing him in custody. Some Russian media claim that Ivanov was arrested not for corruption, but for state treason. However, Moscow has not officially stated this. Sources from RBC Ukraine within the special services reported that the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine effectively assisted in exposing Ivanov. In March 2024, the main intelligence directorate gained access to Ivanov's official documents, leading to an investigation against the Russian official after disseminating information against him. The German government has supplied Ukraine with another batch of military aid, which includes air defense means, ammunition and armored vehicles. Lately Germany has supplied Ukraine with 10 martyr infantry combat vehicles with ammunition and spare parts, ammunition for Leopard 2 tanks and 7,500 rounds of 155mm ammunition. The armed forces of Ukraine also received a Skynex anti-aircraft rocket system with ammunition, almost 30,000 projectiles for Jeopard self-propelled anti-aircraft systems, and unspecified quantity of missiles for the Iris TSLM air defense system and a TRML-4D aerial surveillance radar station, the list also includes a Beaver bridge-laying tank, a DSHS armored engineering vehicle, nine minesweepers, self-protection systems for the AMPS helicopters, 60 outboard motors, 600 LED lamps and six tows for the transportation of M1070 tanks. Germany also provided 18,000 rounds of 40mm ammunition, 3,000 portable anti-tank manual grenade launchers RGW-90, 120mm mortar ammunition, almost 2,000 camouflage nets, 2,000 raincoats and 100,000 first aid kits for the troops. The commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, admitted that the situation on the front line has worsened, that Russia is actively attacking along the entire front and has achieved tactical success in some areas. The colonel general wrote about this in a telegram. The situation at the front has worsened. The enemy, trying to seize the strategic initiative and break through the front line, created a significant advantage in forces and means, and concentrated his main efforts in several directions. Active attacks are carried out along the entire front line, and there are tactical successes in some directions, he stressed, the commander-in-chief added that individual positions change from hand to hand several times during the day, which leads to unambiguous understanding of the situation. At the same time, he noted that they have observed an increase in the number and regrouping of Russian soldiers in the direction of Kharkiv, our troops are reinforced with artillery and tank units in the most dangerous directions. 
Much of the fighting has been taking place around Chesivyar, a Kiev-controlled stronghold which Russia has been trying to reach after seizing Avdiivka and new defensive lines had been taken up further to the west in some areas, with Sersky conceding the loss of territory to the advancing Russians. IT should be recalled that earlier, the spokesman of the Pentagon, Patrick Ryder, announced that the United States has started supplying Kiev with the main weapons needed by Ukraine.